Hello everybody, let's talk about the lenses for a moment. You're going to be using acrylic. This is a 3 8 inch thick acrylic lens. This is for the front, there's no holes in it. This is an old scrap piece, a little scratched up. This is not something I'd use new. But it has 12 holes equidistant from each other. They grow on the perimeter and they're attached in the rear of the housing. And you're going to be using wood screws. These are 3 quarter inch stainless steel oval head. Uh, they're number four, I think. See if I can get a close-up. See, these are wood screws. They make a very nice bite into the, the PVC. Have 12 of them all around. And using polyurethane sealant, 3M 5200 is the brand. It's the Fast Cure. Uh, it's the best material I found out there for this sealant, the, uh, the, the rear of the lens. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't stress enough how important it is to get the, the, the ends of your, your housing completely, perfectly level and flat. Um, there's no possibility of any variation or wiggle room. These have to be perfectly level, perfectly flat. You could have a little bit of roughness like uh, a scratches that would hold the, the polyurethane. Uh, like I don't necessarily sand my rear so it's perfectly smooth. If there's like little, little scratches that's going to uh, uh, hold the polyurethane. If it's, it's minor scratches, um, you don't have to get it perfectly smooth, but it has to be perfectly level. Um, same thing for the front, because you're going to be putting a groove in it, and you're going to put your O-ring in there. There's no, there's no other way. It has to be perfect, uh, perfectly level. We'll go on to this. When we make the, this part, I'll show you. But that's going to go on the rear, 3 8 three inch thick acrylic. Some people say, why don't you use glass? Well, glass is a lot harder to come by. Um, also, this is not that easy to cut, at least I found it kind of difficult. You can use a jigsaw, you can use a bandsaw. There are attachments you can use with power tools like table saws to cut circles. I think Rockwell has a new tool out, it's called a Blade Runner. I saw they had a, a little uh, circle cutter. But I found it was, since I'm making a lot of these, I found it a lot simpler just to have the plastic supplier cut these and drill the holes for me. Um, it was a lot simpler. Uh, like I said, you can do it. You can even put uh, your your blank if you scribe your circle and into a a vise with pads, and you can use a, a coping saw by hand if you if you go slowly. And when you're done, you can smooth the edges out. So you can do it by hand if you want. If you're just making one or even two, but you're making a lot, you need to use a power tool. Um, and like I said, your edges have to be perfectly smooth. And if you're making a, a camera to go deeper, you can also use a thicker lens. But 3 8 has worked fine for me. Now, a few minutes ago, we talked about how some people may not want to make a lens cradle for the front, and you could add your keepers on the edges like this. And I'll show you what I've done. This is an older design. I don't make and sell anymore. It's It has the... This is the front lens, and you can see the latch keepers on the edges so there's no cradle for this design so you can you can not use a lens cradle if you don't want to but I do recommend it because it gives you more possibilities and it protects the lens better